hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is signs that you passed your cc exams before we get into it go ahead and subscribe and also go ahead and subscribe to breeze adventure on youtube put the a picture here as well as the link um below right first sign that you passed your CXC exams is that you answered everything so if you know so when you get the paper you answer all of the questions them you're not left nothing blank every question you see you just have an answer right it don't necessarily means that the answer after right but it means uh, you have an answer for everything right so if you know say so you answer everything nothing not left blank then that increase your chances rather than it just left it blank my teachers them always say i have a foolishness right it's the same way right that is the same way so me if me do an exam if me don't know the answer god knows say me go write something on the line me go make up something me go calculate something me not left it blank make it be rubbish me write the rubbish for the paper but me I don't believe in a give up paper blank. If I rubbish, I write rubbish for the same way. But that is literally the first sign. If you know, see, answer everything and nothing, no left blank, then that's the first sign that you pass. It means say something I want. The next sign that you pass is if you actually studied, right? Now, this one important, right? Because if you never study, you know, you could have gone to the exam and it's a 50-50 chance of your pass. But if you know once you actually study, you know, you did finish the curriculum, you did finish the syllabus. And you know, see, you got through every topic then, you know, enough you are worried about, you know, see, you write something on the line. We at least relate to that um, question, right? At least relate to it in some way, shape or form. If you know, see, you did study the entire syllabus enough time people including me for some of my exams them we don't really finish the syllabus so just go in there and basically we just go in there with what we cover and then we wing the rest you get what me i say but if you know say did actually finish the syllabus then you have a better chance of passing you know if you are worried or blah blah too much because you know say you did already do all that studying you know say if you go through majority or it guess what if you never study everything then if you know you do study majority of the syllabus then you're not enough word about you're not enough word about so if you know say i saw it go then you good too right you good too now the next sign is if you never like, guess too much because for me me love going to exam and if you guess things the minute me have your thing twice, thrice, four, five, six, seven, eight times and one question, then me know see a problem. It means I'm not sure the answer. And it means that there's a high, there's a good chance we can write foolishness because we don't know the answer. So if you're like that and you did the day that say, no, so I'm not know the answer. And you have guessed, you have think one time, two time, three time, four time, and I say, wait there. I want the answer. You do the math question and you say, well, Andy, me get five, but now me get nine. Then me get hundred, but hundred the far from the five, but me get the first time. If you know, say, you answer the question and you realize that it does not match that matching, and you know, you have your guess, so the minute you start guess, it means you're not sure. So if you know, say, I want to guess in a guan way, then that's a 50 50 chance, literally. If you know you're going there and you need to guess too much, you just uh, write and answer the question and uh, breeze through the exam, then you know so you're not really uh, stress out yourself and uh, act yourself and uh, wonder if you pass it or no. Now, this is signs that you passed, but guess what? Signs that you might have potentially failed or you are on the borderline of failing. Stay so upon the line between pass and fail. Now, those signs are for people who definitely, surely pass. If you're on the borderline or you fail, then guess what you did? You leave questions blank. You're leaving questions blank, it's an automatic zero. 
if you did write the foolishness on the paper, then maybe the question rank 10 marks. One mark out of the foolishness makes sense, and that one mark can make a difference with you passing and you failing. So if you know you're left with 100 million page blank like that, then I don't know, I don't know if I would expect much if you know so you're left like if the exam has 10 pages and you know say like for both the paper one and the paper two you know, you know if for the paper one you know say so guess out and guess out if for the paper two which is the one that has the most marks you know say so for example you have 10 page paper two most marks and you only answer question for maybe one out of the 10 then them the chances is kind of slim you know what I'm not like very slim one page out of 10 page paper two Work the most marks than I'm in a sense. The paper one, depending on how um everybody else um performs in the Caribbean, that's how CXC does the mark scheme, right? So everybody should know that by now, or at least things everybody should have pick up and see as go. So basically, if for one year a grade one is 80 to 80 percent plus. Then maybe if your next year agreed one turn into a 90% plus. So it all depends on the subject and how everybody else in the Caribbean perform. If people are fail out the subject, then it brings the pass mark down. So if everybody fail out, um, let me use maths for example, right? Example purposes on maths. Everybody decides to have fail out, majority fail out. So if majority fail out, then Guess what? The password I forgot move down because guess what? CXC can't fail everybody, right? They cannot fail everybody, and so guess what? Even though the password did there maybe one 80% to get a grade one, CXC have a carry on the password day to like a 60. So the person who get a 60 got walk one with a grade one, so 60 plus get a grade one, and then you back up two, three, grade two, grade three behind because CXC cannot fail everybody. Because what if, um, 100 just an example again 100 students from the caribbean do the cxc exam for for example say maths and one or let's say two students out of the 100 get 90 pan the maths exam overall right and the other 98 are perform below 50. it makes sense if you keep the 90 as grade one then everybody will perform below 50 so it don't really make sense to make only two people pass if that makes sense and so that's what happens so they would have said here what we are going to do 60 plus that are the new grade one so anybody with that 60 with that 70 with that 80 with that 90 go straight up then say all right this is the new grade one and somebody with all a 40 turn in a grade two literally that's how it works but if you know you're going to examine that guess 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 and guess and you do the and you don't know what you are doing it. then you really uh, set up yourself on the borderline so it's really 50 50 whether you pass or you feel but other than that now um me yeah, say this if you leave if you leave 100 million page blank on an exam day whichever exam then that tricky to you really put yourself on the borderline you're the on the borderline i lean over to the feeling side if you're really going on an exam and for example 10 pages on the paper too which were the most mark uh, you would decide say you only answer one and nine page blank then that make it up on the borderline and you lean to feeling but as I say what the in the final grade only CXC can decide that final grade so when the grade them come out everybody will see what them actually get if that makes sense so yes that's what I'm basically i have to say so although me said say this is like at the end of the day it's up to cxc and how the caribbean perform bsc agreed but these are the signs to tell you say from now if you know anybody do certain things on the exam then nobody look for you one with distinction if that makes sense if you know saying it works if you know so you're going to the exam you write your name on the paper or if you're the one of the people there who 10 minutes in the exam at the appendix asleep for an exam was supposed to be two or three hours 10 minutes in your sleep something like right this one that's the next sign that you are lean from the feeling side right 
So the next sign that say y'all in for the feeling side if you're going to the exam and go sleep. There's no way a two to three hour exam start and ten minutes in you asleep. No, no man, that, that look bad. There's a reason why they give two to three hours for the exam. So there's no way ten minutes in you asleep. I saw you one bright. That don't make no sense. That don't make any sense right there. So if you know so you're not then people are oh, 10 minutes in at the end of the exam you are asleep, then something alright. I'm sorry, something don't right. And that would have probably be one good indicator. Say you not really do much upon the exam. I put you up on the borderline and lean over to failing. If you get what I said, just because what you could have read upon the paper saying at 10 minutes, a 10 a 10 page paper in a 10 minutes. I don't much that can't yeah, much. So and there's a reason why them give that amount of time. But other than that now, so if you know so you're going to the exam go guessy guessy. If you know so you're going to go sleep after ten minutes. And after ten minutes in a command, even make it to a half an hour before you get a bit. Then something don't write the song. If you know so you leave a lot of stuff blank, then something don't write the song either. All of our foolishness, write the foolishness on the paper. Right? Write the same way. Now the next thing now that probably put up on the borderline and might potentially cause it to fail is if you never study, right? The next thing that could probably cause it to fail if you know so listen, if you know so you never study nothing, you're going to the exam day this and you know nothing, you don't pay attention in the class, you don't know nothing. The point is you don't know nothing and you're going to the exam day, no study, no practice, no pass it or nothing. Then you don't know if you say, you don't think I don't think me would have really say expect much if I know so you never study, you never done a pass paper, you never pay attention to the teacher all school year. And some people are like that, they don't hear what the teacher said and look in a book, they no business and not all. Then I would expect much. But if you know so in your so you know what I do, I do a couple of pass paper, I do one, three pass paper, I study some stuff, then I can say yes. Fingers crossed, I go pass. But there is no way. You will never see a pass paper at the end of your life. You need to listen to the teacher. You need to open a book. Did you do biology exam? And at the night before, the first time you have open a biology book or I watch one biology video, then something like that. So, if you need to, because the thing is that some people, you know, they need to study, you know, because they don't pay attention. So, if you know, say, somebody who oh, did not pay attention throughout the school year, you know, say, you cannot get an idea how everything works already. And you probably do a little bit of studying, probably not even much. But you probably can't go in there and wing and write something on the paper. You can probably wing it. But somebody who never not pay attention the whole school year, somebody who night before exam and first time up one biology textbook, that doesn't make no sense. You never not pay attention. First you open a biology book. You never see a past paper, that doesn't make no sense. That is a sticky situation and it really uh, make you up on the borderline after you pass your feel and you uh, lean over to the feel inside. But I don't know if it's it. But at the end of the day, it's up to CXC what grade you get. It's up to them what grade you get. So you just have to pray about it. Check your results early. I have a um how to check your CXC results video. I'll put, here, so I'll put the link in the description as well. But basically that is the end of this video if you have any questions you can comment them down below and bye